Hey guys, I wanted to get on here and do a video for um, our, I'm trying out some of the pre-recorded videos, so that's what I'm doing this time. Let's see if it's going to show up. Maybe. There it is. Okay, cool. Um, all right, I wanted to get on here and show you. Oh, good, and everything looks fine. I was a little worried because you know I'm, I've just started this setup and got the new camera, and so look how cute my ears look and everything. The light and like the light makes me look so young and glamorous. <laughs> it's so funny. This there is a reason why these like ring lights work. But so I wanted to remind you guys that we have this amazing promotion going on where you get all of the in color, you get all of the in color um, stamp pads, you get the this packet of six by six in color paper, you get a packet of the mixed card stock, which is all of these colors, but in the cards eight and a half by 11 card stock, as well as a packet of the um, grid paper, which is really pretty. I need to order some, but like one thing at a time, I got my surgery coming up. So I got to like, you know, I, I haven't bought anything because I'm just want to make sure I focus on what I have and just take care of things. So I'm going to show you something today that is amazing. It's called a Stamparatus. And um, it's very, very helpful. So anything you order would be very, very, I'd be very grateful if you ordered anything. Um, it's Friday. Well, I'm recording this ahead of time, so it's not actually Friday. But um, I think today is Tuesday, yeah. And I'm recording this for Friday to see how it works to make sure everything shows up just right. And I had just done this card and wanted to make sure that I could show you guys exactly what I had done. Um, while it was fresh in my mind as, as opposed to doing it live on um, camera, which I've done before. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me get my little Stamparatus. We're going to be using the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set. If you don't have the stamp set, I recommend you get it because I have a really, really great class that I want to do, but I can't do it until after my surgery. I thought I was going to be able to, but I just can't. Um, and it may not be available anymore after the surgery. So I really hope that you can check this out and get this um, because it'll match the paper we're going to get for that stamp set. So um, yeah, or for that class. So let's go ahead and get started. And the dies that go with this are amazing. They make these gorgeous little rainbows. Oh, they're just perfect. So let's go ahead and get started. That went so smoothly. Cool. I'm getting it to work. Okay. So the first time, if you guys saw my video the other day, you saw how like crazy that was and it was insane. So here's my host code for today. And let me move that aside. We don't need it. So I was showing you a second ago, I was showing you this paper. So um, this is one of the things that you get for free when you sign up. Uh, to join my team and it's kind of like a Costco membership but better in my opinion because you instead of paying like you know a $50 fee every year you just are paying for the product that you're already buying but you also get it at a discount which means it pretty much the it makes the shipping pretty much free and um, look at how gorgeous this paper is I just love the patterns the plaid I just can't get enough of this six by six. I just bought it on a whim and I thought, oh, that's affordable. I'll get that. And um, I bought cardstock and I bought this because that's, and the ribbon or the twine, but we're not, I don't think we're going to use the twine today. Um, I really wanted to show you the Stamparatus. So this is $50, at least the last time I checked, it was $50. It could have gone up, but I don't think it went up. Uh, let me make sure. Um, I don't want to give you the wrong pricing. tools and let's see stamp tools there we go okay stamparatus yeah it's $49 okay it is $49 I was not incorrect so it's $49 and you get this so my friend mentioned it to me my friend Judy who's amazing and the cool thing about this Stamparatus is that it makes sure that you can get your perfect uh, stamp every single time. Okay, 
I thought there was a, that's weird. Um, so uh, you can get a perfect stamp every single time. And right now I believe, if I'm not incorrect, the bag is still on clearance. Yeah, the bag that I actually got for it, that they made for it, it's on clearance for only $12. So it's really worth getting, um, they all even have grid paper that matches it. It's just this cute little bag. There's some cat hair on it, sorry. And it's the perfect, it has the perfect little pockets inside to store your plates. Um, and I ordered an extra pad and I need to order grid paper. And that's about it. So see, for example, I made this little um, tiger the other day um, using the Stamparatus because I was practicing and then it got smashed. We'll see if I can salvage it. But in order to get these lines to line up perfectly with the face and everything, I used the Stamparatus to help me do that. I meant to show it to you, but then we got sidetracked and you know, such is life. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper. Oh gosh. There's something wet on there. Okay, so first tip, never move these magnets towards each other. So here, let me scoot this forward a little bit more so you can, oh, a little bit this way. No, I was right the other way. Um, <clears throat> so never put these magnets together. They're very strong, very, very strong. And the number one tip that everyone always gives me is that you wanna wrap some washi tape around it and make like little tabs, because if they do get stuck together, you'll have something to try and wedge them apart a little bit. But it's not a perfect, um, there we go. I'm just gonna flip it over. There was something wet. I think because I was cleaning my stamps, there was something wet on there. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll put my paper, in, and there's a little grid paper that you can buy that's perfect size for this. I just don't happen to have it yet. And I'm gonna take one of my magnets to hold my paper down, okay? And so then I went ahead and I started, so I decided, okay, so I had my little rainbow here, okay? My, rain, my large rainbow, and I know I want it to go right here, okay? And so when I'm pressing it, oops, there's like a cat hair on there. Um, so when I'm pressing it down, I'm like, okay, I want that right there. I think that's where I want it. And you know, the stamp kind of sticks a little bit to the paper naturally. So I think that looks about right. Let me, yeah, I want it to be right there. So I, I move this over, press it down, and that gets it to where it's gonna hold it in place exactly where I want it, okay? So now I'm gonna take my ink and I'm gonna use the Sweet Sorbet ink. You'll see the color scheme I have going based on the stamps. Now remember, I'm new at doing this, so I have gotten some of the ink around the edges, but just because I'm not used to using the machine, but it's actually really amazing. So let me go ahead and press my red down, my sweet sorbet. Oh, you see how it's kind of like patchy? It's kind of patchy in a couple places. Well, guess what? I can just move it right back down and press it down more firmly. And all that ink that didn't go onto the paper is now gonna be on the paper and I don't have the blotchiness that I had before. Okay, so it's really helpful tool. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I need to get my other piece. So then I need to take my, because I'm demonstrating it for you. So then I take my sentiment, which is sending you, I think a rainbow of happiness. So I went ahead and I take my sentiment and I try to space it in the arch right there. And same thing, I'm gonna press it down and I'm gonna use the um, pumpkin pie to ink it. And you know, you could even, oh, I got some, uh, I got some ink on the edge here. So I, I just kept some Kleenex handy just in case. And, um, and so that I'm gonna press my sentiment down Okay, it's not dark enough and there's a little bit on the edge here. Okay, so 
it's not dark enough. Normally it would be dark enough, but I think I'm just not pressing hard enough when I'm putting it down. So I just re-inked it and I'm going to press it right back down. Now I'm going to get the sending. The sending was a little bit lighter. And so now I'm going to get it where the sending is darker. Okay. And then we lift it right up and there you go. You got your perfect sentiment already done. Okay. So we've got that. So then I wanted to use the next color. So then what you can do is you can, um, you can take this off and put another one down. But what I have learned is if you um, take off the, that's what I'm doing here. You take you off and you flip your, you flip your little pad over or your little door over and, oh yeah, see, I need to reposition. See how I had it before when I was doing it earlier and practicing was different. So now I need to make sure that I um, reposition, get my little rainbow centered. Okay. I wanted to really show you guys how to use it. So that's why I had it this way. So I moved my door over and I'm gonna press it down. I have it where I want it. Press it down and then I wanna use Parakeet Party on this one. Okay, the paper moved on me just a little bit. Let me move my magnet. Is it still right? Let's see. No, it moved on me. Let me put it again. It's covering up some of the letters. It's not going to be a big deal if it's not exactly perfect. But the cool thing about this is this is the perfect tool for... This is the perfect tool for... Um, stamps that are more than one stamp, you know, like um, stamp sets that have more than one stamp uh, to get your image. You know, you have to do several things to get your image. And if you're needing them to line up correctly, these are also super helpful if you have any dexterity issues because you can keep repositioning it to get it just right. And then you'll get it stamped on just right. You know, like, and so some people can't you know their hands shake a little bit and so they have trouble um they have trouble doing the stamp the stamping because their hands shake a little too much so well guess what this will alleviate that problem okay and so i wanted to use parakeet party which is my new favorite color i'm not gonna lie oh my gosh i just love this color i love bright greens i just love them so there we go Okay, there's that one. And then again, you'll see me take off the door here. I gotta get my other little rainbow line. Okay, and I actually usually put like a stamp pad, you know what I mean? Something to kind of hold your door so it doesn't flop completely to the, um, you know, completely to the table. It's been kind of helpful to have a little, um, a little stamp pad or something underneath just to keep it from completely um, from completely getting jammed up you know uh, and making a mess you know so all right and so let me place my little my last rainbow I'm gonna place right in the middle and yeah that looks about right and put my little and stick it to my door then I'm gonna ink it up with Orchid Oasis which is one of our other in colors I'm so excited to do this video for you guys. My my good friend Judy, she's like, you don't use your Stamparatus. And I said, no, I don't. Because I, well, I, I haven't, it's not that I couldn't see the value in it. I just, just, you know, usually do a quick stamp. But with this stamp set, I knew that I needed to do it. Because it's going to be a little bit difficult to eyeball it to get every single ring of your rainbow correct. And so I could see why you would want to do that. Yeah, that's not, I'm gonna darken that up a little. It was just, I think I just didn't ink it. And so let's go ahead and do it again. And then that'll be the right color that I want. There we go, perfect. You see, it's just a, it's so cool, such a cool tool. And so I love the Stamparatus for that reason. Okay, and then to clean it, you can use your stamp and chamois, or you can take these doors off 
you know, and you can put them on your scrubber or whatever. I'm gonna just kind of set it aside for now just because I do have to clean four stamps to do it and I don't wanna waste your time cleaning. Um, so I'm just gonna set, oh, that's probably how I got the spot on my, um, you know, remember when I started how I had this little um, spot? You see, it doesn't fold, fold totally flat. You see, it, it doesn't fold flat you have to take the door, one of the doors off to get it to fold flat and fit perfectly in your little case. But I don't know, I find it to be super helpful. That's, I, so I'm glad I put that tissue down because I have a feeling that's what caused that little stain when I was first doing my card for you. So then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our cardstock, and this is just a standard cardstock base and I decided to use, I thought this would be a fun, um, I thought about, you know, maybe I will use the parakeet party as a, as a edge. Let's see, do we want the parakeet party edge or do we want the, the starry night edge? I think the starry night looks good. Actually, I think the starry night looks good. Um, I was thinking I wanted a different brightness behind the sweet sorbet. So this is the sweet sorbet paper and I did a normal, okay, so this piece here is three inches by three and a half inches, okay? And all I did was I measured my actual rainbow uh, ring. I measured it against the ruler to find out approximately how big I needed my, my piece, okay? And so let's go ahead and let's get this glued down. So this card isn't actually taking that long. The designing I think takes longer than sometimes just making the card, you know, thinking of the idea, what do you wanna do? And I just thought these in colors were so rainbowy. It was a perfect example of why I love this stamp set, one, but also why I love these in colors. And then I think we'll try and do something. We gotta jazz this up a little bit. Um, I wanna jazz up the, now the dies, which I can't find, the dies have like a clouds, have clouds and all kinds of other cool, um, like little cutouts that you can add. So, well, we don't have that. So, I mean, putting this plane right here is fine but I just feel like it needs a little more umph to it. So, you know what, let's check out the twine. Let's try the twine and see if that'll work because it just needs a little something, you know? It just needs a little bit. Let me try the Orchid Oasis first. I don't think I want to use the Sweet Sorbet because we've got the Sweet Sorbet background, but let's try the other colors, okay? So I was thinking maybe if I put a twist Oh, but you know what? Instead of a line, I think I'm gonna twist them. Oh, maybe I do need to use the sweet sorbet. I have an idea, I have an idea. You see, I was gonna do three lines like that, but what if we take all three and we twist them up? What if we take all three and twist them up like that? that, twist them, and then add, no, that doesn't work. I think just having all three, I thought I would wrap them more than once, but no, I think that looks good. That's gonna work. Let me get my scissors. Where are my fabric scissors? There they are. I was gonna say, I know they're here. Okay. Okay, yeah, I wasn't gonna use the sweet sorbet, but I think because there's so much white on the, um, oh, what else, you know what else I have? I also have the dots, I think, that go with this. Let me check. Because I, I just got everything. items I guess not that's okay there are little dots that match this let me see oh here we go there's these 
Mm, no, I don't think I really want the dots. I thought maybe I'd put the dots. I just, this piece is a little bit big. So I can solve it by trimming it off or I think just adding this little bit of twine is gonna be enough to add my, you know, what I need. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the red first. And I'll just take a little bit of tape. You know me, I love a little bit of tape. I'll do the red first. Oh. I just love that this can get it. The, I just that Stamparatus really is a game changer when you really think about it, especially if you're doing. Oh, also, if you're doing your Christmas cards, this Stamparatus is super helpful because you can just like assembly line them, you know, and uh, all right. So then we'll do the green. We'll do the parakeet party right next to it. Yeah, see, I didn't want them too close together. But yes, I did. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. All right. I guess I could have just pulled them all close. But I, I just didn't want, I wanted a little bit of space in between. Just a little bit, not a ton, but just a tiny bit in between so that I can get a good. So this is the Sweet Sorbet, the Parakeet Party, and I'm using the Orchid Oasis, which is this base color. Yeah, I decided I didn't want to use the other Starry Night because look at how in the Baker's Twine, it, it's almost really close to the same color, and we also didn't use it in our rainbow. So, yeah, so we're using the Orchid Oasis. I cut three pieces, where's the... That's weird. I thought I cut all three pieces. I did. <laughs> That's what I get for looking for other things while I'm trying to do one thing at a time. Okay, I guess I gotta cut another piece. I thought... I had already... Oh, there it is, there it is. I knew I had it. I was going to say, I knew I cut all three together. All right, it went flying. Okay. So, yeah, so just a little something to make this. Well, one, I wanted to even out the square. I kind of wished I had a, like a, the, you know, the scalloped, some of the, the different label dies had retired. The ones that I owned retired. So I didn't want to use one of the ones you couldn't buy. And so I'm just using the ones that I have here. And so, oh my gosh, so cute. And then I'll probably add some something on here. Okay, so all the twine. So the twine, all this twine is 10 yards for $15. And that goes a long, long, long way. I made a ton of projects already with this twine. And um, I've made eight cards four bags, um, nine, 10 cards technically, 10 cards. And so I just find it to be really good. $15 for this whole bag of twine. It's a total of 10 yards. Um, and don't forget to sign up for the special. I think I kinda wanna add a little bit more something. Let's see, we've got some, I think what I wanna add are the iridescent um, gems. I've used them a few times, but I just can't get enough of them. I feel like adding these rainbow gems will add a little sparkle. Just a little umph. Okay, so I'm gonna put these on this on dimensionals. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. If I can find my dimensionals. a full pack of dimensionals out here. Rearranging my entire desk has kind of thrown me for a loop. Oh, there they are, okay. Um, it's thrown me for a loop. Oh, these are the new gems. Maybe I'll use some of these. Let's see if these look okay. 
No, these are the new gems for the in colors that we have from last year, but they're a little too pale and, um, or, you know, a little too jewel tone. Yeah, so that won't work. Okay. I, I think these iridescent ones are gonna work. Or, you know, maybe I'll try some of these dots. I don't know, we'll see. I've got a lot of options here. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take some dimensionals. And I tend to use a lot of dimensionals um, because I just like to make sure that my stuff doesn't cave in. I don't want to put the dimensionals right on top of the twine too much because then that section of the twine will be um, popping up. Okay, oops, let me grab one more. There we go. Make sure I've got the right end of the card. All right, and let's see if we can get this centered. Okay, no, a little too far over. Whoops, 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 whoops. That's why I don't press too hard when I'm, hold on, let me turn this the right way. I don't press too hard when I'm putting down my adhesives. There we go, now I've got it right side. Okay, I think I think these add a little something, just a little extra, but let's see about, actually maybe we will use the dots. We'll just go all out. I mean, it's a rainbow card, so might as well make it look super cute and adorable. So these are ombre in color dots. So you can't see the, um, you know, the different types until you get it open. So let's see how it looks. Sometimes I like to take them off and kind of, yeah, actually these are gonna be a better option. Well, one of them already flew off, so we'll go ahead and we'll take that one and put that one on. Oh, but it left its glue behind. We gotta get its glue. Let's see, we'll put one of those there. We'll take one of these red ones. This is the Sweet Sorbet. We'll take one of these Parakeet Party. So that's three. I think I want to do all, almost all five. Let's see. Let me grab a darker one here. And Parakeet Party is my favorite. So I'm gonna grab another Parakeet Party one and put it right there. There we go. That adds just enough. That actually turned out really cute. I wasn't sure I was gonna want more on there, but I actually really like it. And I always do it in fives. Actually, I think there needs to be one right here. Let me do another Sweet Sorbet one right here. I don't normally like to have six, but yeah, we just have the three colors. So I'm just gonna stick with six. But see, it's not totally matchy, but it's, it's cute enough. And then I'm going to slide these. Now, these are all ombre, as you can see. They're an ombre shade. So you can't really divide this up into pieces. But, man, it's super cute. Okay. Let's see. Whoops. Oh, man, I'm a little bit tired. But, all right. There we go got that together and so I won't use these but how sweet is that and let me grab a little inside um, and actually let me get see what I can put on the inside oh you know what that's so cute you know what I can put on the inside see this was the experiment I was using earlier I liked having the pink but I realized to use it with this paper I needed to use the other one you know it's got these sweet little hearts let me go ahead and stamp some hearts on the inside with, um, I think I'll stamp them with the Parakeet Party because 
we already used a bunch of red on the front, so I kind of feel like stamping the hearts in the green will be cute. Cute, just a couple little you know, I always like to add a little something inside, a little peek of something inside. That turned out great. So, so that's our Stamparatus. And don't forget, you can order everything you need, including dimensionals, ink, and don't forget the deal for the in colors. So right now, you pay $99 and you get more than $200 worth of product. Um, so you'll get... And if you, that's if you join my team. And joining my team is like I told you, kind of like a Costco membership, except you're instead of fees, you're actually just paying for product you already get and then you're getting a discount. So what happens is you, you join my team, you go to fabulousstamper.com and click join my team. And um, what'll happen is you'll get um, a full pack of the, um, the in color card stock, which is 20 sheets of all of these in colors. Let me get our in colors handy. These are our in colors. Whoops, and Tahitian Tide I haven't used yet. So you'll be getting a full pack of these in colors. You'll be getting all these stamp sets. First of all, you're getting all these stamp sets. This alone, these are $8 each. Um, so you're gonna get the full pack of the stamp pads, which is huge, okay? And then you're going to get a pack of the paper, which is like $9.50. Then you're going to be getting a full pack of this designer series um, six by six paper that I've been showing you. I showed you on the Peter, not the Peter Pan, a different one, um, the designer series paper. And this is, I think, $12. Um, you're going to be getting all of that and you get a free paper pumpkin kit, which is amazing. And you're going to get, oh, a free pack of, um, you're going to, oops, there was a wayward. Gem, you're going to be getting a pack of um, um, the grid paper that's the same colors as these, okay? And so it's really cute um, grid paper. I love it. It's not as cute as the, the puppies, but um, I'm going to get some because I love the rainbow. I love the bright colors. It's really my style. So you and then you get a discount. Um, you get free shipping. And there's no obligation. That's the thing about joining the team. There's actually absolutely no obligation at all to, um, you know, to do anything. All you, you know, if you decide not to buy within, like if you sign up right now by September, you'd need to like buy $300 worth of product. But if you didn't do that, that's fine. The, you just lose the discount. There's nothing else. There's no no obligation or anything. Like there's no automatic credit card charge, nothing. There's nothing. We don't keep your credit card on file. You literally just sign up. You choose to do what you want with it or don't. And that's why I signed up for myself. I actually only started doing these videos for you guys because one, I'm a teacher by trade. I love to teach. It's my MO. It's just what I do all the time. So I was super excited to teach you guys how to do things. And that's how I started doing these videos. So joining my team is just really an amazing deal because like I said, $200 worth of product, including free shipping, there's no obligation for anything. And um, I mean, that's really pretty amazing. So I love how this card turned out. I hope you're having a happy Friday. Thanks for tuning in to my first recorded, it's not my first one, but for the surgery, it's the first one. I'm gonna be doing a few more. This is just the first one I have for you guys. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you and I'm so grateful that you guys have supported me and really been helpful. Thank you for your prayers. Please know that it, I do feel the love and I'm just, you know, I'm just trusting in the doctors and just going to do my very best. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. Thanks and a great weekend. Bye.